Not showing too much respect to the which he was guilty of doing early on. He's just, and he's in range. He will get caught doing it really well. Landed on it. He landed it very well. You know. Again, the flashy fit. Oh, brilliant for him. Pendleton is coming forward, attacking. Richards landed the solid shot downstairs. Well, still looking for a way to try and break through against this unbeaten, pausing and hesitating now. As Chris has just mentioned, they're very clear faces. For the first time, it makes, it makes them look like they're doing so much weight. Just by pressure. And Will Bivol put in a similar performance tonight. He takes for this one for his own. His body shot downstairs there with the lead hand from... Thanks, Chris. We've already seen a 9 to 1 underdog romp home. Giovanni straight circling all the time. Bivol cutting them off. Trying to close the distance here. We see Richard standing. Of course, when he does a few rounds. Well, they've certainly got the game plan. Talking to Peter Sims, his trainer, they left with that jab. I was getting the food by that performance last time out, but it certainly made them beaten. Seasoned. He's only pressures on the front foot. Defense coming forward. A little bit Canelo esque, a little bit Usyk esque. And that. Positive start it just did. When you're on the receiving end of that entire world title and a world champion in Dimitri Bivol, you're coming to front foot pressure with that and a, a flash opportunity to land it. And he lands it with such popping up from British Championship level to World Championship level against the other this week. He said we've got to keep him on the end of a the front foot the front foot stop, Nick, Nick, what you mentioned is his foot, that's when he lets the punches go. So Richards, he said, well, then with the feet. And when you're on the receiving end of that, that was a nice belly. So if you look at Bivol, he uses that lead foot as a mark. That's what we have to expect from Richards. Back foot, he's moving the same way. Yeah, what Richards needs to be careful of, Nick, is just as he's just very important. A lot of fight, constantly thinking and overthinking, trying to keep your distance and trying to keep out the way of the fighter coming forward. He's just landed it and just clipped him. And Pushed him back with it, and that means he's probably trying to. No, this is this is good work for him. And then what he will do, he'll tee it up, he'll set you up a couple of times with the left hook, so you'll expect it, and then bang, the right hand will come over the top. It, it comes back by the waistband, his own waistband. It, it's a jab down, back jab down, and he just just just. It's a jab to the head and move on. Oh, he can't that. Talked about the mistakes he makes at level. The domestic is the left hook again. But a, a back to a responsible position and he's in range. He will get caught over the right of it. Pausing and hesitating now. And that, as Chris has just mentioned, they're very clever of Bivol in this second round. Your range is too Get left out of the head off. Try to get back. While he was taxed a little bit from, from just coming forward, trying what he wants. Give Bivol something to think about early on in the fight. Try and gain his respect. Just say you're waiting too long, Craig, but this is the problem when you've got a pump Bivol the time that he needs to get to work. That Bivol, who is definitely started. It's all too easy at the moment for Bivol. He's not really been... He's not really had to exert much energy in this, but he won't get away with here. He just got away with one there, Richards. Oh my goodness me, he walked into that. Punches reputation, and then your opponent feels that power. It gives them the extra time that they need to go to work. Everything for Richards is going to come off that jab. He's looking for the right hand over the top. Well, that was a really good round for Dimitri Bivol. Last round for Dimitri Bivol. It's really... As this one catches fire here in round three. Jordan getting picked up. From Richard, six foot four. Bivol only around about the six foot mark, and he's doing so well. Bivol. Yeah, right hand that uh, opened up Shakan Fitness when he won that British title last time with the big dog. Little flurry that he had. He was straight back in his place. That extent of Bivol. Brings the right hand into play there, Richards, and we've settled into this one. And, uh, Spider Richards for him, and then catch him as he's coming in, but just backing off and circling in circles. He's just waiting for the, to lay the inevitable for me for left hook. Good job for Bivol. Yeah, because he is, he's got that one. Bivol, for when Bivol makes them lunges, what he does. Jab, 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 and then try and nail him as he's coming in. 
some clever bit of good chance better. Now that ball is off. He's got through with the ball off right now. A good little spell there for Richards, but Bibble is straight back on him and pushes him back up to the ropes. That's a really good response from the champion. As you say, he's being made to think here, and I think he's already realising, hang on. I'm running up to your on how good he is, but you still need to sort of dangle a few jabs up there to try and make that jab going for me, Richards. It's okay being negative on the back foot, but you can't be negative by not. He's well set for that full counter right hand. Just how many opportunities is he going to get to land? They've all affected with it. It's easier said than done, of course. It's a strong defensive box. They've always been just completely walking through him at this stage. Still not finding the area. As I said, he's blocking with high hands, he's blocking with his composure, don't lose your shape, don't come up too high, you're going to get caught with it. It's, it's hurtful and it's precise and it's accurate. The jab more dominant. I'd like to see Richard's try and target the body of Bivol. Bivol. Yeah, Bivol. Followed of uh, off Bivol, the way he defends, he blocks a lot with his own. Uh, you've got to keep your composure now. Bivol with a front foot fresh and then he applies the weight. Round five then. It's a good tool, it's a good weapon, but Bivol is handling this jab. Pretty effective. Joe Smith Jr. where if he can land one of those right hands clean on the area, head and body, but really threw it really well. It landed on it. it he landed it very well. You know, the rest can come off that then. Yeah, that's better though for Richards. Good shot from Richard, but there's going to come a time in this fight that he's going to have to go for it. He's one of the best jams I've ever seen, and this is what is key in this fight. It's the most fighters, in my opinion. Richard, I like to see him target the body area of Bivoli. The, the, the truth of the matter is, he gets the guy with a disc on his reflexes. About Switch downstairs there from Bivoli. Yeah, and it's more of the same here for Bivol. Look at the right hand there, and uh, it didn't land. Right. He's coming onto that right hand perfectly, but just we haven't seen it yet. Counter right hand there before that. I'd like to see more. Yeah, the more times you, you throw it and miss it, the more data Richards has on the speed, the, the positioning of it. Still it's there, don't give him a taste of it. You yeah, have the last word there, Richards. Let it go and do it. Catch that left hook, throw your own back, and, and pull an over. Keep the distance. Make Bivol just start reaching the area, dropping into range, and just walking straight onto a right hand because Bivol throws it with no tail. We're through five rounds here. You know, Richards is going to have to start changing things up. Slightly further forward, and that just magnifies the impact of the jab when Bivol does land it, as well as maybe one or two opportunities if you're lucky. He hasn't really had many so far. He's been winning recently when they've got the distance. Then why? All the judges are seeing. Thing with boxing sometimes what well, well, the average fan on the couch means first there but did take one back as well Richards tries for the left hook and misses glance it misses slightly and then Richards starts moving to, to the other way in the other direction it's being fight where you've been did that in the tactics you'll go out there but do not throw that best shot of your before he has to start throwing that shot because I was just ready to just pull I'm straight back at you. And he often counters in combinations when you do I think as well to, to the untrained eye. This has looked like a, a bit of a round of inactivity. Lay back there from Richards. We, we've got to keep his composure now more than... Now the more than the part part he's been. Good job there from the ball. Yeah, he, he notice as well. Chris is win if he wants to win this fight. That's the assets to win it, Nick. The, the, the technical boxing with bad hands nowadays, they're a puncher's glove. There's nothing of this uh, fourth round. Well. <laughs> the body, body of Bivol. He's out of range to clean. Of Dimitri Bivol, you're not going to get him for Bivol at the moment. You have to land, you have to, you have to go for it, you have to leave it in the ring. And the, I'd like to see him become, become more dominant with his own jab and have a bit more faith in his own jab. Nicely. Yeah, well, that British title get shot into the But as you say, he's just a... <laughs> you mentioned Bob Foster and what a jab he had. Side on view just a few moments ago, we can see it here. Because Bivol inches his front foot into range, but he's leaning back over, over to Wembley in North London. And there's two good for Chris Finnegan, the great Bob Foster. I think you're absolutely right, Paul. It's hard to see how 
Richards pinches rounds. Just bump, buzz Biv Owen, and he, and he has enough time left in the round. That's going to be where his opportunity is. Richards is doing the same thing every round. He's circling it, but he's pushing up hands. And he sends the fighters out sometimes to not throw the best shot until probably round five. Is it a good from Richards? The target to talk about in the first couple of rounds. So you've got it in your artillery. <laughs> A patient build up and all the while just breaking him up and, and winning the winning the majority of each round. He got through with the second time he landed it. Richard's been close here as we go into the sixth round. It's a formula that works for uh, where he is in range in relation to it. The less you throw it, the more the element of surprise catches you when you do. Bivol might just be thinking that it's not ready yet. You know, sometimes you need to tie them up and break them down a little bit more until they take advantage. But at the moment, Richards is still switched on. Conditioning looks good. He's not breathing too heavily. He's still Bivol is comfortable and in control. And he is landing some shots clean. Bivol will come back with two or three. He's done a really solid job defensively here. Three. Bivol's also good, again, because of his old amateur Pentagon amateur. Yeah. Yeah. Nice stuff from Bivol in there, and that's when he could be vulnerable. Goes Richard. As I said, I was talking to Peter Sims in the week, he said, yes, Peter. He lands the jab, he'll knock the head back of Richard, then he'll back off. And then... Yeah, yeah, nicely blocked off again there by Bivol. And then a jab, reverse one, two, good, good combination. Good combination. He lands the, the volume of shots that he's landing. He's landing good singles and he's getting a little shift of momentum right back into his own favour. And more importantly for him, that's after he hasn't been completely out of his depth. It's not a criticism. You've done very, very well with the performance, but I know you're betting to get a couple of double jabs. But if I just wait, he doesn't really want to engage. He will go for it when you go for it. He can't just wait and let the ball dictate, which he has done for the previous seven positions. Joshua Boyce is in an Arthur very much in the mix domestic. I'd probably say as well, there's a lot of criticism when this fight was made. That Richards referenced it a couple of times. Whenever Richards has had some success, Bivol is straight out. Yeah, look at it, and again, it's not really criticising Richards. I just think he'll criticise himself when he wants his back. Well, in me, he's the best in the world. I have stretch here. Uh, and Richards is he's boxing well. He's just, as we say, he's and force Bivol back. See if that changes things up a little bit, but be well out of his depth. He's certainly second, second best in four rounds now. Been his best round in my opinion so far, but he needs a big loss. Well, let's see if Richards will finish. He wants the W. And if he can get it just racking up the rounds like this, they're more competitive than, than some of them have been. And we have to remember that outside of the art of attorney, you don't know which one. Could have done a little bit more. I said the same about Liam Williams a couple of weeks back with Andre. It's not that he lands. Bivo is landing three or four. And he's being the aggressor. And he's dictating the paces. I think you've got to be as yourself in, in, in the fight as well. Uh, and, and make the early rounds or the mid rounds. He's doing well in this eighth round. And you have to that, of course. Yeah, Peter Sims now saying, come on, you've got your hands going. We haven't seen any kind of power punches. They've always command of, of distance and the way he glides in and out of range. If, you, if, if you've noticed, his back hasn't touched the ropes once. He hasn't been there. And he got us probably the push he's been so far. But keeping the centre. The, the right hand of Craig Richards has been a... Um, one thing that is when he, when he throws it out as a single, that's when he's vulnerable to the counter because Bill Oliver comes over the, the, the top or usually the judges admire it and he'll admire it and it's just highlighting what he does well. Managed to get the uh, to get back out to range, which is as, as I've just been saying, is what Bivol likes to do. He'll come in, of course, in mid, mid and short ranges that Bivol has, has got much shorter levers and you know he's going to be hitting the target first. <laughs> We are at the midway point, and as you say, Craig Richards is not winning this one on points. There's no way. This shot can be back off straight away. This does carry some spike in both hands. Yeah, but the issue, and, and that's where I think Richards is probably more vulnerable. I'm having to unwind those levers and punch. Right, right, right. Yeah, you've never got the impression to see what you've got. And then when he knows it's safe to do so, he'll have a go. And it's what I was saying about the start of the fight for Richards. He's been a good group of British light heavyweights. Just bubbling under at the moment. 
Talking about Anthony Young, Kelly Johnson coming up well out to his depth. He's performed as good as any of the last four or five opponents have against Dimitri Vivek in the battles. Again, for the champion. Yeah, he's circling around him well, didn't he? He's keeping the centre. He? This is... He's so, so fluid. I think we knew it. You're in there with him. It, it's it's so easy to say we're a bit old there, but mainly they both head out to stick jab there. Maybe over the course of the fight, with others get back on all of them immediately. Get on his way out, just as, as Nick was saying earlier, you'll pay for them mistakes at the top level. Better for it is it's a good little start from Bivol at the this position he's in now, which you told the centre there, that, that's where he needs to be now. In that sense, he may look like he's there, but actually it's far, far harder to, to set those shots up and, and land cleanly. Round 10 then, Bivol. But in the last night for me. <laughs> well, there's still time for Richards to uh, his foot down here. Roll the dice. Well, and counter comes in, but Bivol again responds as he does. He looks like he's out of range and he lets it go. And he lands on the button. He's in a firefight here. Oh, we're thinking it's gone. Does so well and puts Richards back in his place. That's why he's an unbeaten champion. He's been the Two or three years, he's really, really thrown out into the weight. His punch resistance has looked infinitely better, as it has to know and where your allegiances lie as well. But he can take a lot from this performance. He's no, he's not been overawed at any stage. Just sense of urgency now, pressing forward. There he goes for the body again. Lead with it really well. It's almost like an elastic right hand. He kind of drops that right shoulder and almost throws it up. Looking to finish the round strongly. Yeah, I can remember that. Knight as well, Nick, and, and technically he was far better than Bully only in the early stages, but just given that amazing. The body is such a big target for, 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 for Bivol. If Richards can, can capitalise on it by heavyweight, so he, he has lost. For the moment, coming back, but he has to keep it on now, Bivol. Well, Richards landed the solid shot down. He catch the eye of the judges. He has Richards, the big underdog, the British champion. The beat one. Bivol's expecting a jab every time, then he's slipping up to the middle right time. Just start leading off with it. Torres, so we got Shaq and Pitts in. Losing this Richards in. Learned so much from it. Lovely left hand counter then from Bivol. To cast the eye of the judges, but, it, but Richards is having none of it. Very, very good round for Richards again. Step out of that comfort zone. The five and a half minutes that remain in this one. Yes. Before I'm not being critical of Richards, I'm just saying he wants this back and if he doesn't get the decision to do this, I'd like to see a bit more. He's comfortable because he's not expecting a second phase of attack from Richards, whether it be to the head or the body. But it's just more success, a bit more positivity. He gave Bivol something, they got straight away, he brought both elbows down. Bivol to sort of put Bivol back into his shell and on the back foot. But also, Paul, I'll be with Chris on. So, give that comfortable, he's got that better for me. That's why I told my left hook to the boss half of this fight. As you said, Paul, that was there. Feeling could have been more early on. A bit into the body. So, he just lifts both elbows up high every time Mitch is throwing shots. As you can see, he's been a level above here. But can Richards put together? Left hook, not through. But well, that's on domestic level. Oh, left hook in there. Right the right. Can they transfer it to Billy for Pendleton coming forward, attacking. For a way to try and break through against this unbeaten. Good luck to me. Straight through the gun. I think he'll take a lot out of the level. And can he do it? Yeah, he'll pay for himself. Determined to... Again, Richards on the wood. No, he has for him all the left wall. She's a good, not showing too much respect to Bivol, which he was guilty to an early on. He's holding his own. 
see what I was holding, body head. It's gonna rise you, I'd like to see me just tie my body. Where's the dining? This could be a, a platform for him to go on. Let me go. It's been such a big step up for him, and he has not been outclassed at all. And here been off. Again, the flashy finish in the last few seconds of the round. He judges it. He's trying to do just a thinks about the fight, Bivol, and tells you that he knows. He's going to go straight by point in this fight. Bivol, eh? It's levels in boxing as well. It's a big hit all, and as you say, no urgency at all. He's just a really very impressive performance defense. Fuck it up there, Bivol. Making sure he doesn't get the urgency for him. He's comfortable. It's Richards that needs the urgency. And this last round of the Bivol, Mindy Payton has really put on a... Enough rounds in the beginning. Craig Spider Richards from Crystal Palace himself. Well, Richards, gonna just put it. It's just no agency from behind the moment. Really significant power punch tonight. Yeah, don't carry something back in the bell. That's nice from Risto at the very least. Put Bivol on the floor here. It's just no reason. Try to land that left hook. Takes a couple of work ethic or work rate from him. In the start, the first, and the, the middle four rounds of this fight. Moves that he can mix it up. I, I, I don't love it. And he'll just sit there and say, that's it. To say, but listen, Fred Richards tonight has, has, has proved. Well, it all hang out and it remains to have any chance at all. In a few more seconds, getting himself closer to the final bell. And that'll do it. Still, the ball's got it. One had it wide, the other two reflected how you read the fight, Paul Smith, but Bivol had put enough in the bar.